Hello, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Renee, and I wanted to talk about a topic today that um, I've had the idea to do a video on this for a while. And earlier today, I got the strong, strong inspiration, the nudge, it's more like a sharp elbow to do a video about this, to, to finally execute it. And before every video, I always sit and do a little bit of meditation first, and I ask for my guides to come in and to help me with the video. And I especially tuned into them and had a conversation with them first, and, and I was like, what, why, how? This is a tough one. It may be tough to hear. But my gift is to bring tough topics regarding healing from abuse to light. I'm very comfortable talking about difficult subjects. I can do so with ease. And it has taken me a long time to figure that out and to see that as a good thing. So what I wanted to talk about today, given the background of what I discuss on my channel, helping people to heal from codependency, from abuse, to learn how to love themselves, to know their value, is the monster within that if you grew up being abused that you also know how to abuse others whether you let that out or not we tend to treat others how we've been treated until we look at ourselves as we're maturing and growing and we look at what we learned from our parents and we say, okay, here's all this stuff. I learned what I want to keep and what do I want to discard? This video is aimed at people who have small children and who have been abused when they were children. I know a lot of people who have young children and had a history of abuse for themselves have struggled with moments where their buttons get pushed so much that they lose control and they either act out and their hand flies and they hit or they act out and they are consumed with the same rage toward their child that was once used or directed at them when they were children. And afterward, they feel terrible. And afterward, they say, I, in that moment, I lost it and I became my mother. Or I was fine, I came home from work, I saw my son, I saw what he was doing, and in that second, I was like my father again. I just lashed out at him and I just said all these things, I tore him down, or maybe they acted out and physically hurt. Because that's the way they were treated. And I'm not here to give you some concise and easy, well, when that happens, here's what you do. Step one, first I want you to take a deep breath and then I want you to do some meditation and blah, blah, blah. blah. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't have an answer. What I do know is that some quick list of things to do is not applicable. That's not the kind of issue this is. This is deep. This is your child is through their behavior or through being who they are and some children will do this more than others is they are triggering the hell out of you and that's what children tend to do to their parents if you think about yourself you did that to yours and they hold up the mirror to any part of you the greatest part of you that maybe has not healed yet there is no quick solution to this because that wounding that you carry did not happen on a surface level. That happened over the course of years and it happened on a very deep level in your most formative years. 
children will always trigger you. Let me say that differently. Children have the tendency in certain moments, just by being who they are, to uncover what our triggers are. And sometimes when we are at our rope's end, we've had a difficult day, we have a lot of stress going on in our lives, and it's just the last thing and we lose control. I'm not here to blame you. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm here to help you to understand that a lot of people who have a history of abuse and now have children, small children of their own go through this often that feel these feelings and say, I don't know who, what happened. It's like the monster in me just came out and now I feel awful. I know from experience that when, like I said in the beginning, when we grow up being abused ourselves, seeing it done to maybe, maybe our siblings or to our parent, maybe we saw animals being abused also, that we have a piece of that within us and that we can always choose to not let that out. But when you're in that moment where everything is getting poked and you are at the point where you cannot cope, you are past the point of, of being able to handle all the stress and all that energy that's coming at you. When you're in that moment, you almost need to just remove yourself from the situation so you can de-escalate. It's not a time for Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take perspective on this. I'm feeling a lot of shame right now and I just, you know, I'm just going to take a couple deep breaths and I'll be fine and I just feel a little bit inadequate. That's okay. It's okay. Hell no. No, no. It's, it's like I said, it is the demon that is coming out that has been suppressed. That monster is called powerlessness that rage that's coming out of you, that same rage that you saw your parents inflict on you, the look on their face, the redness in their face, maybe the way they were breathing, the anger and how afraid you were, that rage that is now coming out of you is also a large cover-up for a deep amount of shame. Shame powerlessness, inadequate. I can't control the situation. I can't get, I can't get the baby to stop crying. I feel so ineffective. And that the only way to do something is to dominate, completely dominate the other person who is less powerful. And that's what you, was done to you. This is not something that we can heal quickly. This indicates to us that when we are calm and when we have time to tend to our self-care, to work on healing our wounds, that we address this and that we give ourselves a lot of compassion a lot of love and to understand that this is a normal reaction to the upbringing that we had to have these feelings come out is to be expected given the background and given our history this is something that we can heal it is not easy and it does take a lot of time. Your children are here helping you identify where you also need to keep working on your own healing. And it's tough. So my encouragement to you 
is to know that you're, you are not alone in that. Not at all. So when you feel calm, you can address these parts of yourself and you can heal this. I'm gonna close here and I sincerely hope that this helped in some small way. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being brave and watching this video. Give yourself a big hug. You need a big hug. Take care and I will see you soon.